Yeah, yeah. What up, YouTube? YouTube, what up? Big C coming at you with Chunky Boy Customs. What's going on, y'all? In this one. All right, I'm just playing. Anyway, what's going on, y'all? Welcome back, Big C, Chunky Boy Customs. So we back here on the 350Z again. This is part four. <clears throat> Recap last night, uh, Thursday, today's Friday. We got the fuel injectors uh, installed and got them seated with the fuel rail and all that jazz. Picking up from there right now. Cody just got off work not long ago. We just got done eating, so we're getting started this evening. Uh, we're getting a little bit, a little bit during the week, and then on the weekends we're going to try to hit it hard uh, Saturday evening and Sunday after church. But it's coming along slowly but surely. Anyway, so we're going to pick up where we left off. Try to get uh, some more done on it. I'm not sure where we're going to start just yet. But, uh, yeah. So, if anybody, uh, subscribers out there, anybody watches this video, if y'all got the reference on the opening, uh, put it in the uh, comment uh, where, where it's from. Anyway. All right, y'all. So, let's get going on this. I'll come back and uh, let y'all know where we're going to start. So, holla back in a minute. Okay. Well, as you can tell behind me, it's dark time. And we got the injectors in. They're all suited and booted. They're all clicked in, connected, ready to go. Why it took so long? Well, we ran into a little small issue. Got that taken care of. Had a partner come over. He's a, a mechanic. He was helping us out with some things. and I don't think he would have been too comfortable on camera. And then he was shooting the the breeze got to talking Cody smoked a stogie and uh, we, we did fit something on and uh, we took a picture <laughs> but we took it off because I'm not ready for it to go on just yet but I'll give you a hint it was right here but anyway uh, we're gonna continue back on tomorrow we're gonna pick up right now Pretty much call it a night, I guess. Um, Cody's going to come back tomorrow, probably during the day. I won't be back till tomorrow afternoon. So whenever I get back, I'll catch everybody up on you know, what was done so far before I got here. Or whatever. Just to see what point we're, where we're at. But anyway, all right. So see you all tomorrow. All right, y'all. We're back out here. Back at it again with the white vans. I lie. Anyway. So... Last night we got the injectors in and the fuel rail and all that, like like you saw. But today, we're back out here now. We're going to try to get with these engine spacers, right? Yep. Okay. Calls for these two engine spacers. We're going to jack up the motor just a little bit after we undo the engine, space, uh, engine mounts. But not all the way. Just undo the bolts enough to where we can lift up the motor and slide them in. Where are they at? The little engine spacers? Right oh, yeah, right here. They're like a little hockey puck. Pretty cool. And it just slides on in there. And you drop the motor back down. And they say to use a 2x4, which I just happen to have, as a, a jack point underneath to lift the motor up. So that's what we're about to get into. So we'll do that and we'll uh, come back. Alright, so we got the spaces in each side of the motor mounts. Now we're going to take this. It's a, it's a cross member? Yeah. Uh, the cross member under the uh, motor. Sure. And well, yeah, let me get down here and show you. Oh, you got it? Yeah. So we can access some better room here. I'm gonna take this. Drift car is gonna have some scars. That's okay. Oh, yeah. But yeah, so we're gonna move that. That way we can have better access to what we need to get to as far as for snaking the manifolds in there and out, and if we need any other room for anything else, because we got to do his oil pan, uh, the oil pan spacer, right, Cody? All right. Yeah, it's a it's a it's a, a sandwich plate that goes in between the motor and the oil pan, and it relocates his. Uh, oil filter and I think it has the, the lines that go return and feed lines to the turbo so we gotta have room for all that too so 
We're gonna get that off and come back. All right, so we got the cross member taken off and we got the spacers put on the motor, motor mounts. That's all done. Now we're over here, Cody's shining this up real quick, getting the dust off of it, but this is the intake, the upper intake we're gonna use uh, for the kit. It's already got the ports and everything for the the turbos and the wastegates and all that, right? Whatever yeah. you, blow off valves. valves, yes. Which is right here. You got the intake tube and then the blow off valves. Um, <clears throat> like I said, we're going to transport, transport. Ah, we're going to take that, marry it with the motor, and uh, we would instead of using the other one, he's got bigger injectors. What we just put on, as y'all didn't see that in the previous video. If you haven't seen that video, I'll put a link right here. Check that out. Anyway, so we took that off, and we're just going to put it on his motor now. So I believe uh, we'll put you on a time lapse and. Uh, Get after it. Yeah. Okay. So here's the here's the his stock old intake, and now we're gonna take these throttle bodies and we're gonna put them on the newer the new one. And uh, looks the same, but it ain't. Yeah, it looks the same, but it ain't. It's slightly different, but that's the plan. It's a little different. Yeah. Can't really see it with the naked eye. Yeah. But like I said, we're gonna swap those over real quick. And uh, we'll come back. All right, so we got both throttle bodies put on. Just got to tighten them up real good. And then we're going to place it on the motor. And uh, we'll come back with a time lapse installing that. All right, so now we're about to put the intake on. And uh, set you up on time lapse. Okay, so we was about to do the time lapse on the installation of the intake but we decided to wait on that because while we have the intake off we decided to address cody's getting new spark plugs yeah we want to put that in while we have the intake out we can have easier access to the cold packs the colder the one step colder spark plugs as we said that's what we're rolling on this one so tomorrow sunday and we're gonna chill tomorrow. We're not gonna get on this tomorrow at all. We're gonna get together some uh, some some things that we need to, for this. Uh, we want to get a gapper for the spark plugs. We can gap them. Make sure we have the proper gap, and a couple of hoses, uh, some vacuum lines for the blow off valve, stuff like that. And then we'll jump back on a Monday after work, huh, Cody? Yeah. Yeah. So, all right. Well, again, you know, we got a little bit more done. Not a whole lot. Uh, we're getting there slowly but surely. We work on it as much, you know. Cody works during the week and after work, you know, we jump on it in the in the weekdays and on the weekends when we can. So uh, y'all just bear with us and stay tuned. We got some more stuff to come. We're getting closer. We got, like I said, we got the intake uh, ready to be put on as soon as we do the spark plugs and uh, the blow off valves and all that ready to go. So, all right. Well, if you like this video, leave it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed already, and uh, leave us a comment, tell us what you think, and uh, stay tuned for the next video. We'll catch y'all later. Peace.